Hello, welcome to the Love and Gin and Juice because I almost went to Love on Stage. I mean, uh, the Love Hour because my (laughs) intonation just felt like that should flow out. Welcome to the Gin and Juice podcast where I often am the gin. Are you now? No, I'm lying. I'm the juice child. I don't know. I think it's because I was listening to that. I was a little bit of the gin last time. Uh, I went back and watched. Let let me keep going. I'm the juice. (laughs) I'm the Jen. My name is Melissa. And I'm Mel. And we talk about trending topics, pop culture, politics, life, TV, and everything in between. And the last episode was a little bit lit. I <laughs> ended up watching that, like, the rant segment of that. A uh-huh. few Now, my chair is squeaky. A few <laughs> different times. And I was like, girl, what was you on? Everything. And the conviction <laughs> of it all was all so, it. like... I was that conviction was the Trump. real. Yeah, it was real. That <laughs> conviction was convicted. Okay. It was really real. It was really real. Okay, so we're gonna start off like we always do. And by always I mean the times that we do because sometimes we don't. With <laughs> a long story short, Mel, what's going on in your life? A lot. So first off, Tierra came in town because last time yes. we ended it, we were trying to figure out which restaurant to go to. So we didn't go to the restu- the, the sister restaurant. You're right. Um, we instead went to the very L.A. catch restaurant. Because which you all should go if you come out to L.A. It's so L.A. Um, so we went there and we had a reservation at 530. And I just know that around 930, the waiter came over like, you guys have to go home. You can't, you cannot stay here anymore. <laughs> this is the thing. I don't know if this is everywhere, but definitely in LA, they have like a two hour limit yes. these days on your reservations because they're trying to get people in with COVID. You know, they had the like quarantining uh-huh. uh, capacity limits or whatever. Right. So the fact that she, yes. And goose was mad. Okay. That's what we need to talk about. That Greg says that every single time <laughs> the reality is he says this and he's not wrong though. I know. Every time Mel gets with Tierra, they be reckless. I what happened, Mel? We stayed there for longer. I didn't even realize it had been hours, <laughs> but it had apparently been hours because they made us go home. And I think I only had three drinks. Yeah, but you had three drinks at 37. How are I you? Know, I'm not 37. I'm 35. 35. But also, I don't be eating that much. And catch is not a like. It's not. You're not no, gonna get full. No, you're not gonna get full. So I and at four just, hours you could get hungry again. I just w- drank too much, and Greg said that because I don't remember, but he said <laughs> that I just kept repeating myself. I told him the same story three or four times, oh my and God. I don't. And then I woke up the next morning and still tried to retell the same story again to him. <laughs> and I don't Greg remember. was pissed. He was very upset. The heck. Oh, but we had a ball. We talked about everything in life. Like it was just, it was good catching it up. It was good catching up. It was my favorite. I we just had a great time. She also was like, "This is she, you know, has come out here a few times, and she was like, this is the first time you actually like seem happy. Like you seem Aww. L.A. And you know, I've hated L.A. for the, the entire moment. six years that I've been here. And for the first time, I'm like, oh my gosh, L.A. is not so bad. <laughs> So I'm like, maybe it was Netflix. <laughs> maybe, maybe like the stress of it, like I could never enjoy. My favorite thing right now is in uh, Cuff It by Beyonce. Oh my God, she it's says, the best song it's on the, the album. Best. When she says, have you ever had fun like this? And I'm lit- I was, I feel it like for, I was listening and I've heard the song many times, but like for once that part, I was like, no, Beyonce, I haven't. <laughs> I'm having a ball. I am finally having a ball in LA. So, and that, you know, meeting, just going to dinner with her was, like, the best. So, anyway, we had a great time. um, And we will again when she comes back, Gregory. You will have her on the pod. Yes. Mel, I have a question, though, because I think I just had a revelation. Is your fun having making you scared to job? Get a job. Yes. Is it? I just it realized is. that's probably part of the hesitation. Because I've, I've even, t- I've told you this before, and I was telling her, there is... So my entire career, I've worked for like big companies, yeah. what we'll call them, right? Like I worked at Cartoon Network, well known. I worked at CNN. I worked at Netflix. So like all of these big yep. companies. That might be a hesitation because you've gotten offers from big companies again or at yes. least been able to entertain. Yes, yes, yes. And the problem with working with companies that are so well known, yep. at least for me, is that I'm always conscious about 
how I present in any setting, uh-huh. right? Because I, I know that I am a representation of this very well-known company. Yeah. And I seen on Twitter where the people be like, she work at this company, yeah. let's get her fired. Yeah. And I don't, I have to just be always aware sure. of that. And so I my hesitation is like, it like freaks me out to think that I'll have to go back to a company and not be able to like be my full sure. self. Rather that's, at work or outside of work or on the internet or wherever, like I'm having a ball being me. Yeah. And I've just felt like I haven't been true to myself for so long because I've just been, and it's not something that anybody told me directly sure, or sure, sure. it's never been that. It's just me, you know, kind of playing in my own head of like, be conscious of how you're representing this company and working in content, especially like I interact with people um, I interact with writers and agents and managers and those kind of people. And so it's not, it's an outward facing yep, position. Yep, yep, like yep. the roles that I have are usually outward facing. And so I'm, I have to be aware, like a quick Google search, Yeah, you know, what are you going to find? Um, and so this freedom that I'm having is fun, mm. but babies be having to go to the doctor and they be needing insurance and stuff and bills be wanting to be paid. That's so, uh, yeah, it is definitely a, a pull, not a push and pull. It's just a pull. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I get that. I don't know. Hi, Nick. Nick's in there. You see, she said hi, sisters. Oh, our as sister soon as Nick. I saw sisters, I was like, that's gotta be, <laughs> let me see the name. Uh, I actually can totally understand that. And I just realized that that could be an added level of like, oh, I don't want to leave this, but I understand the responsibility. So right. like, where, where do you land on that? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. And I can imagine, too, being black. That's a whole other type of situation. Yeah. Of pressure of, of like, how you have to represent yourself. Yes, absolutely. And the, I don't even know why this is such a thing for me, but it is. But, like, historically, I would say companies and people and managers, right, look at you a little side eye if you are pursuing other endeavors. Yeah. Right? And even if they're just, like, entrepreneurial or like yeah. side hustles, right? Like it's like you're not fully committed to sure. this job and they judging you and they're looking at you yep. crazy and stuff like that. And so I've never even wanted to like post uh, anything about me doing anything outside of my full nine to five, yep. you know, my full-time job. Um, and so now that I'm like exploring this stuff, that also is playing in my head. Like if a company Googles me, are they going to be like, she don't even really want to work. She wants yeah. to like whatever. And the reality is I like to do both. both. Like there's a world in which I can do all the things that I want to do, yeah. you know? And so anyway, all of that is is playing in my head for sure. Um, but, and I'm a good worker at the end of the day. Yeah. I'm a good at my job, period. So. Okay. Uh, anything else on that topic? Uh, no. Oh, I can talk about. Okay, so McKinley's birthday party. Yes, she turned six last week. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have in common you and I that we love a good theme. Love a good theme, and love a good party. Love a good theme party. Yes. So we had a nailed it, which is on Netflix. Uh, but we had a nailed it themed birthday party. So cute. Um, and if you don't know, Nailed It is hosted by Nicole Byers, and it is a show in which people try to uh, amateur people, amateur Correct. bakers, yes. I should say, try to make mm-hmm. cakes, cakes, cu- bakery cakes, things, things yeah. sweets, um, desserts. But they try to do what a professional has done. And they're like super extravagant yes. looking. It's always ridiculous. Yeah, not just like a basic cake. And so people always fail at it. They're yeah. like always not good. And so I found this baker tainer lady who is incredible. And so she had a cupcake um, nailed it challenge where the kids had to like uh, make, you know, designs or whatever on the cupcakes. It was a, so adorable. It was really so cute. cute. And I had a ball and yeah, so we had all the little school kids and their parents come over and all of our friends came over. So it was a good time. I I enjoyed. Oh, and Kenny's getting big. You guys literally McKinley's been on like the Internet since she was like a baby baby. So people have literally watched her grow up on the internet, the internet and she is six going to first grade. like it's just started first grade yes everybody always talks about that video when kev was trying we had went oh, to yeah. dinner nick was yeah, in town, town. Yep. the three of us went to dinner kev was watching mckinley and she would not allow him to sit down and everybody always talks about that uh video it's so hilarious and yeah so and Micaiah now did the same thing to him so she it's, sure did. it's just a thing. Kind, kind. <laughs> someone said do you vlog 
We've been talking about it. Greg and I have been talking about it. The problem with vlogging is actually vlogging. 100%. Right? Like, 100%. you have it in your head, like, yes, we're going to do all the things. And then when it's time, you're like, oh, girl, I do not feel like picking up that Man. camera and, like, talking to Man. it. Man. So we haven't, but we want to. Yeah. It's a commitment. Vlogging is a, a huge, it, it becomes a lifestyle. Yeah. And so you have to know that going in right. and I, I just wasn't all that committed to it <laughs> uh the anything else long story I'm short done. What you long got? story short lone thing i have is joe's voice got deep overnight i don't exactly know why my it kids is. both have really deep voices but joe went to sleep one day with a high-pitched voice and woke up and was like mother <laughs> can i go to Minchie's? <laughs> this is the thing that the kids do that i tell i don't know if i told you guys so joe hates school we all know this yes. this is a well-known documented fact <laughs> on the internet that Josiah Fredericks does not like school. But he goes to the school, which I was like campaigning for him to go, even though he hates school. Kev wanted him to go to some other school. It was like a whole back and forth. But I was like, this is the school his friends go to from his middle school uh -huh. and his soccer, soccer teammates people. go. Yeah. So if he's going to go to school, like at least he's going to a school with people he knows. And it's worked, you guys. Like, seriously, he's been having a ball, even though he will never admit it. So on Friday, Thursday or Friday, he texted and was like, can I stay after school for a couple hours? And I was like, okay, fine. Where are you guys gonna go? He went to Minchie's. Ah, oh. so there's like a little Minchie's, like a little ice cream parlor down the street from his school. So they go to Minchie's. I uh, go pick up Isaiah, and then I go pick up Joe afterward because his school is closer to the house. So I go pick him up, and I'm like, I'm all, I'm close. Where are you guys at? And he's like, Oh, we're walking around Ralph's. I told you. Then I said. Uh, okay. So we get a little the closer. The grocery store. The grocery store. Rouse is a grocery store. It's this grocery is Safeway. Yes. Kroger. This is a grocery store. Yes. So as we get closer, he's like, actually, we're in CVS. I'm like, are you guys 75 years old picking up prescriptions? I'm so confused. <laughs> Why? Why the after school plans include... <laughs> Walking going around. to CVS yes. and the grocery store. And I needed to go shopping. So I'm like, do you want me to send you the list? <laughs> the list. Like you can pick, pick up, up the milk, the eggs, the bread, there. the cheese. <laughs> like you could pick all this up and then we could just yes. jet on up out of here. Like we don't even have to make this a whole situation. But he was literally walking around CVS, Rouse, and they went to and they went to Minchie's. And literally Josiah is an old man. He, he will, is. and will get in the car and be like, whatever, I hate school. I don't have friends. <laughs> Everything sucks. But then it's constantly he one of his little soccer friends had a birthday. I guess the kid didn't want to do anything. So, Joe, I gave him permission. This is my fault. So remember, I had him pay for the little the girl. Little girls. Uh -huh. So apparently this gave him all the permission he needs. OK, uh -huh. this is all the permission he needs. So he takes his self and like three of his guy friends from school to the movies. Oh, yeah. For the yeah. other little friend's birthday. Uh -huh. He paid for all of their tickets. Oh, come on. He paid for come all. On. So I'm getting these text messages because literally you guys know Go Henry was a podcast ad. Yeah. I love Go Henry personally. Okay. It is my absolute <laughs> favorite thing. If you have teenage kids, I recommend it. They get a little debit card. Uh. You can track their expenses. They create a link. So if you're, you know, if your aunt wants to give or your sister, whatever, your family wants to give them money for their birthday or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. it goes directly onto oh, the account. Oh, that's the link you sent yes. for Zay. Okay. So it's like PayPal or Zelle yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it goes into like their little account and I can give them an allowance every week. Like it's super cool. I really like it. All the, and it's easier to manage to me than a bank. Yeah. Because if they forget their password or their PIN number, I don't have to go into the bank. Yeah. I just yeah, yeah. go in, okay. punch in my thing, and it pops up. I can change their limits. Yeah, like, yeah, all yeah. of these things, all these functionalities. I really love it. So, anyway, he, uh, what was I going with it? That Child, he paid forget. for everybody. Yes. gave him permission. So, when I gave him the permission for that, apparently, he went on to the interweb. First of all, he was like, what's the website to buy uh, the the ticket. So I tell him the the name of the theater close by the house. So he goes on there, buys the tickets himself. Listen, picks out their seats. Aww. So I'm getting text messages from the parents, and they're like, "Tell, make sure to tell Joe, thank you so much for planning the birthday party." Aww. And I'm like, Joe, <laughs> why are the parents texting me? Thank you. What what happened? What happened? He's like, "Oh, I pay for everything." First of all, you should ask. Okay, that's he her got song. money. But he is like, that's my money. Like, like my why do money. I, why do I need to ask you for anything yes. when you told me this is my Mine. money? So yeah, he's real about it, about it with his debit card. I love it. We've had to like hound them 
since the time we got the cards to like bring their debit card, bring their debit card. Yeah, bring yeah, it. yeah. Child, they have just been about it lately. Isaiah bought this kid. The kids did a little brand deal. It'll actually come out soon. Oh, nice. And so we paid them for oh, their time on the uh -huh. brand deal. Isaiah's in this like, I care about what I wear yes, face. Yes, yes. He and he loves jersey. Throwback jerseys are like his thing. And he really wanted a Supersonics because we're from Seattle. So he picks out this jersey. It's like three hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, he swipes his debit card, comes in the house like a big man. We're like, you spent three. He's like, oh, it hurt my soul. Oh my goodness, it hurt my soul. The dramatics. It hurt my soul. <laughs> it didn't hurt your soul. You just probably thought you was the big yes. boy, the big dog on town in yes. town, swiping your little debit card in front of your friends, paying three hundred dollars for a little I jersey love it. or whatever. But yeah, he's in this. Isaiah is my like really interesting child. Yes. He wears. Uh, these clip-on earrings. He wears his little chain. Like he's just going through a like. I'm really cool. He wanted to go right play now. basketball. Yeah, last he wanted night. to go play basketball. He actually got offended because the coach, I guess, picked him last. Oh. And his that's his daddy side because y'all know I don't be competitive at. I'm like, man, I don't care. <laughs> pick me last. I don't care. Isaiah was like, no, you didn't pick me last. <laughs> I, Know what you not think. Know who I so am. he's been playing at the basketball, like practicing his shot. Kev's been trying to help him and stuff. So it's been really. Your kids are getting big. They're getting big. That's They're the so thing. Big. They're getting really, really, really big. And um, in some ways, I really enjoy it. Like I, I talked about this before. Watching a human grow up that you've instilled things in mm -hmm. and watching them kind of live that out is actually, I find it really exciting, mm -hmm. to be honest. Like in some ways, I want to start over because I'd be like, I messed them up. <laughs> I need a do over. So like give me a baby so I can like do it right this time. Um, but in some ways you see them and you're like, man, like I tell Joe this all the time. I'm like, being my child or not, you are a good human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he is. is a good he is human is. being just like a really like as sour patchy as he is and he is a sour patch he's so sweet he is so sweet he is so sweet he posted um mckinley for yeah. her for her birthday he, he plays with so the kids he like he's just really he's just a sweet he's a good human yeah. he's one of those people that's like man you're yeah. you're a good person all right moving on to pop the trunk Best this is a girl. segment where we talk about things that made you want to pop the trunk go off what you got mel oh i do have a pop the trunk story mm -hmm. so in preparation for mckinley's birthday i went to party city to buy a little couple things uh -huh. and this is why i need to get a job amen <laughs> because if you go out to the stores during the week you're out with the with the other people who yep. don't got nothing else yep. to do in yep. the daytime yep. right so i'm in party city Buy my little balloons, buy little cake, all the stuff that I'm buying. And I go up to the register, and apparently there is a woman who was talking to the um, cashier. Cashier, but she was like asking questions. She wasn't like Checking purchasing. Out. Yep. Yeah. So, but she wasn't up there when I got there. So I get up there and I'm like, hey, how you doing? Whatever, you know, here, can you do? So we're in the middle of going back and forth, and this woman comes up behind me and and proceeds to come on the like she's on the side of me. I can touch her like this. Oh. And she has her balloons, her little stand up balloons, and she says, "Okay, I got my balloons." And the cashier goes, "Okay, it's going to be a second. I'm helping her." And I'm look I'm looking like, "Why is oh, she here?" Can't... So when that exchange happens, I'm like, "Oh, good. I'm happy you checked this." So the lady's like, "Okay, that's fine." And stays there. So then I said, I need you to back up. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? Yes. Oh my God. I need you to back up. It's my turn. And she said, okay, I'm waiting. And she takes like a small step uh -huh. and still stays there. Oh, no. So I'm sitting there having this back and forth of like. Am I about to punch you in the face? What? What? I don't. Right. And you know, in those moments, you, you're at least for me, I really have this like, I can really go off. Yes. Or I can let you rock. Right. Because you don't maybe you don't realize yes. how inappropriate, like how close you are. <laughs> but then what happened is that the price came up and I had to take out my debit card. Oh, so then I felt uncomfortable because I have to put my pin number in. So I take out my card and I turn around to her and I say, I am wildly uncomfortable with how close you are. I need you to back up oh like literally God. that much like i am like and in my head i'm like if greg was here this woman would be in tears oh, because he would have oh, went oh off. yeah greg don't play no games so she's like Ugh. 
<laughs> and she like proceeds to go on the other side and is like further away. Not as far as I would like her, but she's further away. <laughs> So I'm looking at the cashier like, what is the problem? And she's, she's just like, oh so God. I pay and I'm like, okay, you know, and I have to go to the other side of the line because I have to get my balloons blown up, the helium. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I grab my stuff and I am walking towards the helium and all I hear her say is, wildly oh, uncomfortable. <gasps> so then I turn around. Oh, no! I turned around. <laughs> And I said, are you speaking to me? Do you have something to say? <laughs> and she was you like, was looking for a fight, I was on, listen, I, I ain't got <laughs> no job. I ain't got no job. I told y'all I ain't got no job. Now, I got this time. This is your problem. You spent six years at Netflix. Listen, How long were you at the uh, Turner so company? Seven, six years. six years at Turner. Mel has been holding in Girl. all this anguish. Girl. I said, do you have something to what say to she me? Say, Mel? No, no. <laughs> I was, listen, I have time. I didn't got no job. I got time, okay? Oh, All the time to go back and forth with you. So anyway, I got my helium, and then I walked back by her. When I walked outside, she was putting stuff in her car, and I did a little hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she would. But anyway, I just, I need to have a job is the problem. Do you need a job. I need a job. Because if you don't get a job, you're going to jail. This is the thing. Hey, at this point in Melanie's <laughs> life, she has two options. Jail, job. Jail or job. Jail or job. Knuck if you buck. Uh, clearly. Crime which, mob ho. You need to approach the throne of grace. <laughs> because if you call me in jail, I promise you I'm going live. I promise That's you. That's fine. I'm going we live. Gonna be... Because only the people that watch this podcast will understand. <laughs> it was it was boiling. Gin and jail. It was... <laughs> All of the people that watch us are going to be like, no, no, no. We understand. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Hey. If you start to go fund me, we'll throw a couple yeah, dollars hey, at hey. it. Get me, just get me out. Amen. <laughs> just get me out. I'll it go. Be worth it. Just get me out. Oh, my God. Mel, what if she would have said something? You would have popped her. We was finna be fighting in that store. Because it was, the problem is, people, they think COVID is gone, right? And so they think six feet don't apply. Yeah, yeah. But even before COVID. That's the part. People of color have always felt like I need six yeah, feet. I that need, has I always my, been yeah, a thing. I need my space. People not of color yes. have an issue with boundaries. They don't understand <laughs> personal space. And I don't, I don't move. <laughs> and I wanted her, I wanted her to know that like I feel uncomfortable because I have to take out my debit card and you could steal from me. Yes. So right. I, met, I Oh, yes. That's <laughs> the best. Because let me flip this mode on <laughs> you. Because you would quickly clench. Yes, your purse. Your purse. Well, and girl. I need you to know. I actually feel the same. I feel the same. Is honey. this danger? I feel like my life. I don't know you, Karen. Is in danger. Do not. So, I will call the police. I will punch you first. Yes. Amen. And then I and will call then the police. I will call the police. And cry. And call. Oh, I will. Cue the teeth. <gasps> I was she, shopping for my baby's I was birthday. Just, and she came close to me. <laughs> she wouldn't move. I was so intimidated because Listen. she had balloons. She had <laughs> balloons. The cashier looked like they would have gone vouch for me too. Because she was <laughs> like, I don't know what's wrong with this lady. Because Karen's go into that store all the time and be yes. acting like that. So yep. today, was you was getting checked today. Hey Amen. So she almost got popped. Pop the trunk. She almost got popped. She almost got popped. But, amen. Thank God. She had God's grace You're here that today. Day, and I did too. <laughs> yeah, the grace was upon the both of you. Yes. The grace was upon the both of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Black Twitter trend. You I'm ain't got pop the trunk? I don't have a pop. Oh, I do. Let me save it. Okay. Let me save it. Okay. okay. Uh, moving on to black Twitter trends. Yes. This is a segment about trending topics. Okay. Yes. This is what I want to talk about. Black pastors have had a bad couple of weeks. <laughs> black, I'm going to tell you guys this, okay? I'm not going to say who, but there was one pastor uh -huh. that went, and I've met him personally. Mm -hmm. I've never sat up under him. Amen. But I've met him personally. Okay. I just want to go back to the old church. <laughs> okay? So this is what we're going to We're going to have a little praise and worship. Okay. Because I miss... Oh, I miss old church. We was just I in here. Know. We interviewed um, uh, the Franklins. Hey, we interviewed the Franklins. First of all, Kurt Franklin is just hysterical. I, love I it. cannot wait 
for this interview to come out. It's absolutely hysterical. But we also had the Campbells on. Mm -hmm. And they were the church that we went to, we go to. Wait, can I just say, can you keep your thought? 20 years ago, 25 to me. years ago, Listen when we me. were praise dancing to these people's songs to me. in church, can you have, could you have imagined that you would be having them at your studio, interviewing them, being friendly with them? Y'all got their numbers. Y'all got, like, could you, we used to be Hosanna Forest. We, like, can you even imagine? Never, Mary, Mary? Never in a gazillion. This is the thing. Girl. And I actually had the moment because I was sitting basically where you are. Tammy was here. Kurt was here. Kev was on the other side of me. And to be as cool yes. as they are, like I told, I think I told you guys this too. The reason why, as a teenager, I was attracted to what I thought Kirk Franklin represented is because that's who he is. Mm, mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. reason why we loved Mary Mary yes. is because that's who they are. Yeah, like, yeah. Kirk Franklin, they call his cussing thing that went out, they call it oh. his mixtape, <laughs> which I love. Yes. I love it yes. so much. Like, oh, you know, when your mixtape drops, yes. that's what they call it. It's I love it. freaking hysterical. And he just talks. He, he has a very deep side, uh-huh. but at the end of the day, he's still very much like, <laughs> Hello? like Hello? he's still just kind of, is a <laughs> and so it's a part of him that kind of humanizes him for oh, me. Cause yeah. when I went back in the day, when you thought of gospel artists, they were perfection. Perf- yes. They were perfect. I still believe CC is. Oh, no, no. C. C. Outside is. of her. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Outside of, yeah. <laughs> You know, she had the little uh, uh, Trump thing, which it was just a lapse in that judgment. Was, amen. It amen. was just a lapse in judgment. Jesus we don't hold it her. against her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like, you, that's who it was. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah. God the Father, the Son, Holy Ghost, CC White. It's like, yeah, that's yeah. kind of the order. <laughs> yes. And so to meet them and you're like, oh, no, you're so like human. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, it brings, um, it takes some of the pressure off Christianity uh, yeah, for me. Yeah, that's good. Because that's you feel, I don't know, sometimes it, it's a lot. It is a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, and then Erica and Eric, listen to me. Erica had the white dress on and I know and we listen to me. Fine, okay? fine. She had the white dress on and folks love to give her a hard time about it. Erica Campbell is saved. <laughs> this woman loves the Lord. Amen. Okay. She is saved. <laughs> they were telling these stories when they first got married and uh, uh, before um, Warren was for real, for real uh-huh. safe. He said he would come in his house and she would be having a prayer meeting. <laughs> <laughs> her and her friends throwing a no no oh! and praying. And he would be like, what are y'all doing? This is illegal. <laughs> This is an illegal prayer meeting. Get out of my house. Like, she is saved, saved. And so sometimes, okay, I'm going to come full circle, but sometimes to see them in this light where you're like, man, like, y'all are just as human and regular as, like, the everyday Christian. Like, y'all are just like them. Yeah. And sometimes the the criticism, I don't know, because I know them, I do have, like, a softer place in my heart for them. But, man, it is, like, full circle. Because Kurt Franklin, Fred Hammett have always been... Like top tier, yes. my favorite gospel yes. artist. Period. When we pray, I mean, come, come on. on. Kevin said, "I love you." To me, to Fre- Fred Hammett. I love it. Like that's I love we're it so churchy. Yeah, yeah. No, churchy. we're like on the way from Ocean <laughs> Shores. Like we were on a church retreat <laughs> coming home, and like that's what happened. And then Mary, Mary, like they're the soundtrack of my teenage years. Uh, we used to do car washes. Literally, for the church and their album is what like, we played. Take the shack goes off my feet so I can dance. Hey, hey. I just want to pray. Oh, what you want to do? <laughs> like, want to pray. What you want to do? You feel me? Like, all of his albums, <laughs> first me? of all, we know. Oh, yes. Like, yes. Like, show this hot outside. Show is hot outside. I don't mind, though. Yeah. I just want to be free. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just the absolute best thing ever. In life. I love that. That's amazing. Yeah. Really, and the really fact cool. that you, like, with all of that. Yes. We, you would have never imagined. Never. That fast forward this many years, this is what your life is. No, no, no. Never, How never, never. Amazing. Sitting in those sometimes be, a, you know, it kind of blows your mind. Yeah. Um, But all of that to say, I do miss, okay. Oh, yes. That's where we were. Yeah. I do <laughs> miss old church. old church. Yes. 
Like, I just really like let let me let me go in the mind frame because I thought okay. I wrote the songs down. Give me a good song that that that's a good praise and worship song that we would sing like every Sunday. Um, oh. I had a whole medley that I was going to sing for y'all. Oh, yes. And I can't think of what it is oh, right now man. because y'all know I can't think good under pressure. I wish I would have wrote them down. Anyway, y'all get the point because uh -huh. I'm not going to do it. Well, so oh, here we go. This is the day. Hey. Mm -mm -mm. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will rejoice. And be glad. Okay, then. We're, oh, this is the day <laughs> that the Lord has made. Amen. I, I will live. rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> this is the day. We should have been playing yes, some instruments. We should have, because <laughs> I need it. And then, what are you going after? <laughs> this is that the Lord has made. I will enter His gates with, with thanksgiving, thanksgiving in my heart. Uh -huh. I will we need enter a His courts with, with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, there it is. Come on. Victory, Victory is, is mine. mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Hey. Y'all know I can't sing. <laughs> I told say I'm more of a tenor. To, to get, get thee behind. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Victory today is mine. This is what a mighty God <laughs> we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Come on. That's the remix. Angels bow before him. Heaven, Heaven and earth adore him. What, what a mighty God. God. We Listen to me. Ah, she says so singing is not a family talent. Oh, no, 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 no. no. We absolutely can't not. Sing. No, None absolutely of the not. Marshals None of the Marshalls. Sing. That's just not a gift. But the Bible says make a joyful, joyful noise. So where I sit is joyful. Is the noise. Amen. All right. So just come with me here. Yes. In the noise. Wait, I just want to say that I, sh I wish I could ask Greg right now because the thing about oh, the, Gregory and the up. church he grew up in, because mm -hmm. we know the songs we just sang and we know Kirk and Fred and Mary and Great. we know them. But Greg grew up in like Southern Southern Baptist. Yes. So he references like hymns, songs by the the page they were in the red and blue hymn hymnal books. <laughs> and I'd be like, Who are you? How have we been together this long? We can't even like go back because he don't be knowing the stuff. So anyway, I, I enjoyed in. thoroughly the old church that we knew. It's the best. It's the best. Listen to me. Yes. I truly. Like, I get the New Age church. I do. And in some ways, I actually appreciate it. But there are some aspects of old school church yes. that I just really, really enjoy. Like yeah. Twitter trends. Okay, you guys. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the comedian Lil Duval. Oh, my goodness. But this man got into an accident yes. in Jamaica. Riding the his the Bahamas. It don't matter. He, I thought it was Bahamas. But I, you might matter. be right. He's my Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might be right. Okay. And he, it's not funny, it's but not. it's only funny because yes. he chooses to yes. make it funny. He does. But this man literally could have died. He was on a four wheeler. Yeah, yeah. And he had this man do an animation oh my goodness. of the accident. It's so terrible. So he's like, you know, <laughs> off can't. looking over. I feel bad laughing. Me too. <laughs> Looking at the beach, and in the background, the song is, uh, don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. Like, he is living his very best <laughs> life, yes. okay? Like, literally. And then he makes a U-turn, and is going down the street, and then all of a sudden, the thing turns into a cat, which is hysterical. <laughs> and then this car comes and hits him, and the, the animation of Little Duval just Spins. Spinning for and like spins two minutes and <laughs> spins. He's just spinning. and spins like to the other side of the island <laughs> spinning. spinning. And it is the most it's so ridiculous, hilariously sad thing ever. Why did he do that? I do <laughs> not understand how he has managed. To find the humor. I know he does. And the optimism yeah, yeah, yeah. in all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he but really God bless him. I, I know. God it's, bless him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is his 
hysterically is hilarious, hilarious. Yeah. and it's just truly having a good time yeah. having gotten to this accident in ways I just don't understand. Like, he shows his road rash, and it's like, I'm the X-Man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is going to heal in no time. Like, he's just really having a good time. I really don't understand it. I don't think I could have his level of, no. like, optimism. no. Because he, like, his hip is, br- like, his hip turned 75 from yeah, the accident. Yeah, yeah. He had to, like, have hip surgery instead. Anyway, I just find it hysterical. It is hilarious. He's absolutely always like this. If you haven't gone to his Instagram or you're unfamiliar, it is worth. Just that alone. It is worth it's watching hilarious. the video. They yeah. did another one, and it's, like, real actual footage. Did you see this when he's on the oh, stretcher? yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy's <laughs> like, I guess he sees us, and he's, like, throwing up the peace sign. I'm like, sir, like he at one point he said the doctors thought he had like bleeding in his brain. Oh no. Yes. He, there's a video, he's like doing this. Oh my gosh. And he's like, this is right before the doctors told oh, me no. that there was bleeding in my brain and I might need an additional like he was going into a second surgery. He might need a di- another surgery. And then he went to that surgery and apparently the bleeding was gone. And he was like, Y'all don't understand. I'm a living testimony. And I'm just like, you were the most annoying he's human being. So he'd be a troll on sometimes. Planet yeah. Earth. Yeah, and yeah. it's just freaking fantastic. It's just really good. If you haven't watched it, it's Little Duval on Instagram. I don't follow him on Twitter. I don't be on Twitter like that. I don't follow him on Twitter. I'm assuming that's also his, his Twitter handle. I think it is. Um, but definitely on Instagram. It's it's very, it's quite hysterical. All right, moving on to Melanie Takes TV. Yes. Wait, I, I, you know where I want you to start? Where? The untold. Oh, ooh, okay. So yes. listen, Manti Teo, there's a new Untold documentary. And so Netflix has Untold, which is low-key their like version of 20, uh, 20 for 20. 20. And so they've had a few of them. And the latest one that just came out is uh, Untold, The Girlfriend Who Didn't Exist, yes. which is the Manti Teo story. Who He is an NFL player. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he's still playing. Um, and the story, should I spoil yeah. it? Okay. Oh, well, I mean, it was in the news. Everybody knows That's about true. it. It was yeah. in the news. It hit the news and all of that. So it is a catfish story. This so good. person catfished him. Um claiming to be a woman at the time they were identifying still their pronouns were he, he him mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so he had done that i think now their pronouns uh-huh, are she uh-huh, uh-huh. um but they had created this profile and legit like beca- they became in a relationship no legitimately like they were boyfriend girlfriend no and manti had never ever met uh, the his name was uh, uh Ren- Janae Manet. Ren- no, it's an R. It's like Rania Ren- Renaya. Renaya. Oh, his real name. Yeah, yeah, Renaya. Yeah. Uh, but they had never met in person, and so what ends up happening after they have this like relationship, and they get it seems like it seems very intimate because they were sharing like mm-hmm. being very vulnerable with each mm-hmm, other, and Manti mm-hmm, is sharing mm-hmm. a lot of things. Um, and so then Renaya and she then created a whole like family tree. Sure enough. On the Facebooks. Yes, this was all before Catfish was even Lene. Yeah, the Catfish name oh, was Lene. Lene. The Catfish is Lene. Yeah. yeah. So before Catfish was a like known as Catfishing, yeah. this was like what Catfishing what, was. Yeah. It's like the precursor to Catfishing. To Catfishing. Yeah. And so the craziness is that uh, Manti's grandmother. No, you got to go back before the grandmother died. What? Because before the grand, that's why she was in the hospital. Oh, that's right. That's right. So she had gotten to a car accident. Yes. Because she was trying to like end, end. them talking in yes. the catfish relationship. Because he wanted to meet. They had been kept talking for, to meet. It seemed like they dated for like th- two or three I years. Know, it seemed like a long yeah, time. Yeah, it seemed like a long time. And she was able to avoid meeting. Actually meeting and he in was person. like starting to get it. frustrated because yeah. he's like, I want to meet you. But if we're not going to meet, like, girl, like this ain't no, yes. like, we can't be together. So she ends up saying she got, she has her brother, who is really him, yeah. call Manti to say Lene got into a car accident. Oh my God. And then, so she's like unconscious. Yeah, she's like in a coma. And basically. then they discover she has cancer, cancer leukemia. leukemia. And so she's in the hospital. It's this like really, it was so sad. It Th- was sad because, it was sad because, you know, for him, it almost is like losing the love of your of life. Your like, life. That's how realistic it yes. was. But this is the thing, okay? You guys have to watch this if you haven't. You have to this watch is it. the thing. He's on the phone talking to 
his girlfriend because she's in a coma like every day. Yes. And they pretend like a doctor says. Oh, my gosh. That whoever's does. talking to him oh to her gosh. this is the most like brain activity that they've had. had so then he commits oh my to talking calling and yes. talking to her every, every day single day to make sure sh- to like if i have this much power and ability to like help this person yes i'm going to do this every day every so then day. he does that and then like a month later or whatever she decides no more i don't exactly know i guess she just wanted to end it she was sick of the lies herself yes and something was happening i forgot what was happening because she woke up yes oh my god in the most dramatic fashion very i mean just once you watch it it makes you pissed off yeah to be completely on it pisses you off because you realize they were playing this man's heart so eventually she wakes up and i don't know if they were getting distant again because he was playing really well i don't exactly Uh remember anyway she decides that she wants to die yes in order to end to end this relationship relationship. she kills herself quote unquote on the same day that his grandmama that his grandmother died she dies from her leukemia from her cancer it was so ridiculous it's unbelievable it's like so uh, the problem though right is that he's in the midst of trying to be drafted yes into the nfl correct so he's doing whatever they call it call it co- the co- 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 combine combine you're right where the athletes come and they yeah, like yeah, show yeah. out to yeah. all the teams so he's in the midst of that while dealing with his grandmother has died and the love of his life has also died so then everybody's projecting you yep. know because he had such an incredible year that he's going to be a first draft pick. yes but then all of this kind of stuff happens blows up and then it is revealed yes. somebody sends the the newspaper yes. saying that they're not even a he didn't really have yes. a girlfriend and this was a made-up person and all of this is happening in the midst of the draft like correct the, it's leading up to the draft. Yeah. So then people are like, "Did was he in on it? Did he know?" Man, it was. Tough. And so he ends up not getting selected in the first draft. Yep. Ends up getting selected in the second draft, but then he has like this crazy, you know, like anxiety. Yep. And he and so he got, y'all have to watch it. It is wild. The problem though, this is what I want to talk about two things. Okay. There is. Uh, when I think about like revenge porn, yeah. right? Like for so long, there was no laws against revenge porn, but that's because it didn't always exist. Sure, there was never a thought that this would be a thing, so they had to like sure. the law had to catch, catch up. up. I don't believe that there is is catfish laws now, oh, uh-huh. and there certainly were not because then, it wasn't even a term sure. for him. But like what Rania Lene did affected him oh, mm-hmm. in a real way yeah affected his ability to he wasn't dr- i mean who knows like you can only speculate yeah yeah yeah. right but like he should have sued i was gonna say is that what you're getting at there should Man, be something there should be I laws wonder, but what could be the legal ramifications for essentially playing with my heart but can't isn't there laws against like if I miss out on money because of you, I can sue you because you made me miss out on money. I mean, that's suggestive. Yeah, but, is it, like but that. It, wouldn't that be like libel or slander? It should be something like that because it aff- the reality is agree, your mental state, like yes. your heart affects your mental. Your mental is going to affect your physical. Like that will show up in so many different ways. No, 100%. Defa- yeah, sue. defamation, emotional. Oh, I guess emotional, emotional distress. distress. It's wild. No, that no, no. Story she was out here wi- being wild. And the part that got me is that looking back on, I know in the moment it may, she may not have felt this way, but being able to watch it, it's, it's cruel. It is cruel. Like it is cruel. The way, the lengths to which they went or she went to like, keep it going like the leukemia. And then he's on the phone and she's like, I'm not dead. Man, man, Manti, it's me. It's me. And he's like, send me a picture with all of that is like intent. Listen to me. It is so it, if it wasn't real, watching this movie would be like, this is unbelievable. It's un- yes, because it's so many things Man. that are just wild. But Mel, you never catfish nobody. I have. Wait a minute. Not the emotional distress girl. I don't want to be sued. <laughs> and I didn't affect anybody's. <laughs> life okay but <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute 
Wait. Uh, wait, wait. I have, I got a story to tell. Let me tell my story. <laughs> tell the story about you catfishing somebody so they can emotionally distress sue you. <laughs> they don't know who I am. Still. Still to this day, Still. they don't know who you are. I mean, she might. What happened? Wait, wait. <laughs> Listen. You mean you never came clean as the catfish? No, why would I do? But I wasn't trying to be in love with somebody that I really knew. Like, I wasn't, it wasn't that. What happened is I ain't got no exes, but if I had an ex, there was this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and it was MySpace days, and he had a new chick show up in his top eight. He had a, oh, okay. You okay. know, the MySpace yeah, top yeah, eight, that used to matter. <laughs> the MySpace top eight, like who in your top eight? You know how, like on text messages on Apple, you have like the pin top, the pin messages. That's what the equivalent of MySpace oh, top eight. Oh my freaking god! So there was a new girl, okay, and he lived in New York at the time, and I was in Atlanta because I was at Spelman, you know, being a Spelmanite, amen, changing the world. And he had some girl show up in his top eight, so I created a fake MySpace account. <laughs> I Googled, oh, this is before Catfishy too. Yes. <laughs> I Googled some man. I took his pictures, child. I just was stealing all his pictures and made a whole little profile. I made my own little top eight. I had some little random chicks on there that looked like they was, you know, whatever. Oh, my God. And I hit her up on some, you know, I was trying to be acting like a dude. Like, hey, how you doing? And she responded. And so we talked. And what did you find out? Was, she, was he cheating on her, you with her? She never claimed him. She wouldn't, I would be like, so you ain't got a man in your life, you know? And she would be like, no. But, but you're also so direct. You can't be that direct with it. Hey, mommy, she what's up? Low you key, got a she man? probably knew it was me. That's low why. I over here like, no, she didn't know. She probably like, girl, every, you were so, so obvious. obvious. <laughs> so obvious. But I was talking to her. We talked for a good, I don't know, six weeks. She would be messaging too for, much, wait, though. Wait, wait. You talked her. It wasn't one day. Oh, no, no, no. I was trying to act like, I was trying to, you got to like act like you love him or you interested so that they can <laughs> give you the tea. Tell me about your man. Why he doing you wrong like that? Who is he? What's his name? <laughs> the boy is mine. The boy is mine. The boy is mine. <laughs> I hate you so much. I cannot so, believe yes. you catfished this woman for six weeks. Yes. Yes. But she, the problem is she would like be messaging all the time and I would be like, oh, girl. Leave me alone. <laughs> so I had to figure out how to get out because it was too, like, I was like, I'm fake. But she was, I felt like she was catching feelings. Like I was doing a real, I was doing a good job. She was trying to be like, you going to come to New York and see me? I'm like, yeah, girl, no, I'm a girl. And I like men. And I don't, how did, how did we get here? All I wanted to know is if you were talking to my boyfriend. <laughs> This is why Renaya had to kill her fake self because it was like, how do I get out of this? How do I end this? I have to die. I think I just created a girlfriend. Like, I think I'm going to be with my baby mama. <laughs> I, I got to get off here. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all know y'all did this before. Don't be trying to act like. Oh, my God. You need to live a little. <laughs> We need to catfish somebody. Oh, my God. I'm so <laughs> hot right now. Oh, my God. I did that. I am sweating. That was the old version of Melody. I'm new. I'm different now. <laughs> oh, that is the most hilarious thing I didn't ever. even get no tea. I did all of that and didn't even. And then she wasn't get, even and dating she wasn't one even, I think he just put her on the top eight because she was a pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, bruh. I'm wasting my time. <laughs> yes. And she was in love with you. Meanwhile, <laughs> she was literally, I tried to go back to my MySpace, but did they go like bankrupt or something? I think they did. So you can't even log into I your own so, account. Because like Justin Timberlake bought it or something. I tried because I was going to go in there and like try to find my messages, but I couldn't. So anyway. <laughs> There was. Oh my God. A good time. I wish <laughs> you could have found your messages. The joy in knowing that that oh woman my. was probably like, and it was at this very moment yes. that I was like, oh no, this is his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, she probably knows. He, pro he never brought it up. He could have. Girl, if you're out there, 
If you are out there, I wish you all the best. DM Don't me. Don't DM nobody over here. DM Have a good life. DM me because we need to know your <laughs> side of the story. Nah. Because she probably low key is like, I know that's that girl. <laughs> I know it's her. No, I hope DM you are very me, successful DM me, Miss Kev on stage, girl. Don't you? Don't you? Lie in my DMs because no. we need your side of the story because <laughs> you are wild. <laughs> ah. Okay, next one. Oh, so I was going to ask you about, uh, so Married to Medicine because mm-hmm. that's, I saw y'all talking about, um, 90 Day Fiance Tell All Part 2. I didn't get to watch because I was having a birthday party and doing Married to Medicine. So we're going to talk about uh, mm-hmm. 90 Day next week. But what I want to talk about is Married to Medicine. So the, all the women of Married to Medicine went to dinner. Okay. And most of them are married. Only one quad is not married. But this conversation, quad asked all the married women, what are things you didn't know about the person that you're married to until you were married or living together? Mm. And so they started going through, as women always have, a list. And it made me um, think about some of the things that I didn't know. Uh, and I want you to also answer. Okay, give your answer so I know where to go with my answer. Okay. Because this could get real or this could stay fun. Yeah, (laughs) exactly, exactly. So number one, and this, I just didn't know until we were, actually, I didn't know until maybe moving to California that Greg is a conspiracy theorist. Oh, my God, (laughs) Greg is such a conspiracy theorist. He, like, watches the YouTube videos and sends them to me like, look. No. Look at the wild. Greg is a conspiracy theorist. Like, for real, like, y'all. Like, for real. And I had no idea. So, if you're dating, ask. <laughs> My advice to you is to ask. These are what questions specifically you need to ask about oh, 9-11. Ask them about 9-11. Ask them how they feel about vaccines. Vaccines. Ask them if the world is flat. Yes, if they're around. a flat earther. Ask all of those questions. <laughs> so Vaccine isn't all the way fair because Loki, I had a lot of hesitancy with vaccines too, I'm though. just saying have the conversation. Just you understand have the their conversation. perspective. Because Kev was real quick on it and I was like, mm. Yeah, so just ask. I might have a little pause. I might have a little questions. I might just need a little, let let a couple other people be the experimental group. Yes. Okay. Yes. Before. Yes. You know, because by the time I had it, the vaccine, Johnson Johnson was out. Oh, uh-huh. uh-huh so, uh-huh. you know, yes. I was able to see that. Yes. And then I was able to make my decision. Yes. That's all I'm saying. So I feel like what happens is people have questions about like religion and politics, right? But what you need to ask <laughs> is... Do you believe the earth is round or flat? (laughs) Those are the questions. Those are important. Okay. The second thing is, um, I I realized this when I just went to Atlanta. Greg leaves dishes on the side of the sink and not inside of the sink. And when you have limited counter space, oh man, it makes me crazy. That's something I didn't know. Until, like, when you live together, so married or not, when you live together, those kind of habits show up. And so he leaves things around and not in, and that drives me crazy. The third thing is, Greg doesn't turn, I do, okay. Okay. This is a sister moment. I feel it. I need to answer correctly. If there are dishes in your dishwasher at the end of the night, dirty dishes, if it is full or not, will you run it? If it is full, yes. If it's not full, you won't run it? No, no, no. I'll wait until it's full. But I won't go past maybe two days. Oh, you'll run it? We're not sisters. Oh, no. I need it to be full. You run? I mean, you leave the dirty dishes in the dishwasher for more than a night? I will wait at least one (gasps) night. I will wait one night. But I also rinse my dishes off. Oh, and he don't do that. Yeah, yeah. I rinse them off. And if it's not full, because a full next day is coming. The other reason why is because I don't like unloading the dishwasher unnecessarily. Oh, my Jesus. No, I'm not. I will load the dishwasher. Oh. I'm not unloading the dishwasher. Okay. No. It's just not. It's just not my personal life. So I will wait a night. I just did it last night. Or no. I'm sorry. Today is Tuesday. Month, so I must have did it on Sunday because I ran it yesterday. The last thing I do before I leave the kitchen. The sound to me, the indication that the kitchen is clean oh, yeah, I love that is too. that I have hit start 
on the dishwasher and I hear the water swishing. Yes. And Greg does not do it and it makes me crazy. Oh, no, no, no. Run the dishwasher. <laughs> Run it. <laughs> Okay, those are my things that I didn't know until I was married. What are yours? Okay, mine would be that um, legitimately, I know these are like the stereotype things, but Kevin really does this. He leaves every light on. (laughs) And I mean, (laughs) to the point where I can tell like the sequence of events that morning. (laughs) So I'm like, oh, you went to the bathroom, (laughs) you got your clothes, you took a shower, you brushed your teeth. You shaved, and then you walk like all those lights <laughs> are, are on. on. Yeah, still the closet light, the bat, the 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 actual shower has a separate light. There's the bathroom light, and then there's a light directly over his sink, which means he was shaving, <laughs> like to that level of detail. Uh-uh. And when I tell you, I've never felt like a black mother more <laughs> than being like, turn off these lights <laughs> because he will leave. Every oh no, I mean, and it's just a bread trip, like the breadcrumbs, yeah, like it's to that level. Oh. It, oh, yeah, no, it it literally drives <laughs> me insane. The one thing recently, like as I've gotten older, that I realize is important to me, and actually, no, 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 I'm gonna tell you what the honest <laughs> answer is daddy, it's daddy's fault, it's my daddy's fault. I'm gonna tell you why. What he do? Daddy visited us a couple weeks ago. Maybe sometime over the summer. I don't remember what he was here for. I feel like he was watching the boys or something. Uh I don't remember. Anyway, uh, because we have a puppy, he likes to leave uh, dog prints all over the windows. Uh And it rained. uh, This is how long this has been in here. Over the winter months from last year. Uh Okay. And it left this streak. We came home. Daddy had cleaned my car. Yes. Washed it. Yep. And cleaned. And cleaned. My windows. Yep. And was proud, too. Yeah, he was. My dad, he'd be proud. (laughs) And so right now, I wasn't lying to y'all. All All the lights in my car are on. Kevin has not taken my car to get an oil change. Is that taken my car to get, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what do you call it, the air? Yeah. In the tire? None of it. It is still on to this day. I got a message. (laughs) This is my fault, though. I got a message on my, the app, and it was like, your tires are very low. So you can keep driving. But, like, they're very low. Oh, wow. So when I went to Jamba Juice, I called the dealership and was like, how do I get air in my tires? Oh, uh uh-uh. They were like, come up here, ma'am. Girl, girl, all you have to do is come. I said, I don't need an appointment. They were like, no, girl, you could just come up if it's just air. Like, it's okay. You can just come up. We will do it for you. We will do it for you. And in that moment, I was like, why am I taking care of car stuff? Kevin Fredericks. Kevin. Kevin Why am I taking care of car stuff? And it didn't all the way bother me, but it kind of bothered me. But daddy messed me up. Because oh. when daddy came, Did you know, my yep. dad is old school dad. Dad, yep. My dad is the one that on Saturday mornings yep. will wake up That's at 8 a.m. He, and when all me and my sisters were driving, all the he would wash his car, my mom's car, and me and my sister's yep, car. And there's everybody. three of us. Yep. And he would wash them vacuum them yep. put the air freshener up in there wipe down the windows yep. wipe down the little the dashboard he stuff like daddy did all the things like daddy did all the things and so now i'm like oh i have been missing this <laughs> oh yeah mm-hmm. i've been missing this my whole marriage yep as of right now i'm officially mad about it yeah be mad oh yeah Mad. You've got 20 years of mad. Yes. All of a sudden. It didn't matter that I just realized I was mad three Today? days ago. Today I'm mad for 20 years yes. worth of not. Kevin. Kevin. Go do the thing. Yes. Daddy and my dad, he messed it up though, for real. <laughs> and so I literally called them and now I got to figure out when I'm going to go. So that's the other thing. Kev is a, um, mm-hmm. he's a caller. Yeah. He is a, he is a, can you do? Yeah. Kev doesn't do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's that type of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's not important except times when it is important yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah. Like, I don't want to call somebody to do this. I want us to do it together. Yeah, I don't yeah, want, yeah. you know, like we can do this together. Or we can just do it. He's like, but people do this. Yeah. Why can't we just pay someone else to do it and like because <laughs> i want to do it we should be able to do it together yeah um so those are the things like that's recently yeah, yeah 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 that i think just absolutely 100 percent uh drive me insane <laughs> drive me insane kevis i can pay somebody to do this so why would i correct. do this i can go do other things i can make, make more do money correct so why would i so why would i 
I'm nope. confusion as to why the car things would be me when I could have. <laughs> and we do have, there's a guy that comes to clean the cars mm-hmm. out and Kev does do that. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. let me not. He does do that. But even still, I'm like, daddy did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, daddy would do right now. Our, my dad is retired. Our dad is retired. This man, at, on any day of the week, at any time of day, you ask him what he is doing. You know, just tinkering in my yard. Uh, okay. Tinkering in my yard. Tinkering, tinkering in my car. yard. He lives in Georgia mm-hmm. and has palm trees. This man ordered, he has three palm trees. In his in, yard. In Georgia. He absolutely does. It's his, that man be outside. We pulled Watching up. Watching the was YouTube videos. In his third, he built a third car, girl, a third garage. Did he? Yes. <laughs> the, he, the house they have came with two. He built a third one. Dad, my dad, just be out he there. be doing the things. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, daddy does not still have a six pack though. Oh, girl, Let no. me tell you, he don't he just didn't nah. settled he, into he, retired yeah, life. He, okay, he, he didn't got a little bit older. Mm-hmm. He didn't got a little bit older, and them six packs ain't six and six mm-hmm. packing no six more. Six and packing. Nah. All right. Anything else? Anyway, we, we're done. I think we are. Uh, I was gonna say you car chase. You got to send some more. Oh yeah, the uh, we ain't got to talk about. I'll just be quick. The car chase I was going to talk about. I was just gonna mention. That sometimes they be running out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> and that is hilarious to me. Because they... Uh, eventually, you're going to run eventually, out. Eventually, th- This is the they thing. They never have an exit plan. No. And the police always have a new car to send after you. So yes! they're never They're never going to run out of they're gas. They're never running out of gas. Even if you have an electric car, eventually that'll oh, run yeah, out. Oh, yeah, for sure. You can go long. Actually, if you're going to be a criminal, you need to invest in a, an electric Hello? car. Well, they be stealing cars. <laughs> well, you got to steal, gotta steal an, electric an electric car. Because let me tell you something. If a criminal steals my car, oh, they're going to piss me. They're going to be mad well, at me. They're going to curse me out. Their tires are going to go flat because you. <laughs> dear, dear, listen, way. if you, dear criminal, steal my car if you want to, you won't get far <laughs> because one of your tires is going to blow. and You're going to be yes. rolling on your rims. Or you're going to run out of gas yes. because I always have half a tank. Oh, dear, uh, terrible. I'm, I'm half a tank I'm or less. Dad. Oh, listen, daddy. I'm telling him. Daddy used to be like, if you knew you ain't have no gas when you was on your way home, why, why did you come home? Why, why did you didn't stop you stop to get, some? to get gas? Amen. Because you knew you didn't have gas. Oh, we're different. And I'd be like, because if I could get home. <laughs> See, no. <laughs> why would I stop? Absolutely not. I'd be, I listen, don't play them games. I run, I like my gasometer. I don't know what it's called gasometer is what Amen. I said. Let's okay, go with follow it. me. I need it to tell me how many miles is left with the gas I have in my tank. I don't like the half tank, it has, quarter it has of a that tank. Ability. I don't think you this don't, car does. I'm sure it does. You don't need it though. No, no, no. If that's if how I you have, operate, you don't need it. No, that. I do. If I have 10 miles, let's see if I can get seven before I have to go to the gas station. I just want to know. No. Yes, because this is the thing. If it's the gasometer and it's supposed to tell me how far I got, why would I not push it to the limit? Is that how you live life? Oh, on this I do. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it's raining outside. Let me tell you, I will run out of gas before I stop if it's raining. Oh, I will be on the side of the road quick, fast, in a hurry. Don't if know it who is you raining are. outside, I am not stopping I for am gas. I'm praying for you. Yeah, you should because I probably have a quarter of a tank right now. <laughs> Oh, no, that's not true. I just filled up. I did just fill up because I was about to run out. I was to the point because this is, okay, this is the last thing I'm going to say. <laughs> this is the last thing I'm going to say. Because I don't have air in my tires, it's the biggest alert on my on dash. Thing. And because it stays there, I don't always realize that I'm running low on gas. Yes. <laughs> so when I finally removed it, my car was like, girl, if you don't stop right now. <laughs> you know how you have the red, which is like danger. Yes. And then when the red goes away. Yes, that means you're out of gas. No, that means you run on fumes. But God's grace is sufficient because you can run on them fumes. Let me tell you. I, let me tell you how I know. You turn the air off. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was hot. Use, they use more gas. Oh, they yeah. Say. I turn the air off. You can't off, drive too fast. Roll down the windows. And I don't stop either. You can't stop. <laughs> you got to approach red light slow. Because if you stop, that's more gas. It's too much it's gas. Much, to more gas to keep up. it going. So you just slow into a red. Just no. slow, but keep it going. And then I cannot. I'm keep calling going. daddy after this. Listen I cannot believe you do this. Listen to me. I don't like my gas lower than half. If it's cold outside, that's the only time I don't play games. If it's cold, because I'd be like, what if it freezes? I don't really know. I feel like the, <laughs> the gas meter might be wrong. But if it's hot and I know the juices is flowing up in there. Have you ever run out of gas? I've only run out of gas once. 
on my birthday when I worked at KFC in Washington State and there was a homeless man trying to help me and I was convinced it was going to be my last day on earth. That wasn't enough to scare you oh, to so always many years get ago. gas? I didn't know what I was doing then. I didn't have a gas meter. It was a 1983 car. Couldn't tell me the information I, I needed to make calculated you. decisions. Oh, Jesus. Can do that now. Pray for her, y'all. All right, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we're not that. doing questions oh i forgot oh send us your questions quick though y'all and quick. a gin and juice question yeah one that we can offer our perspective on oh gin and she juice called style. it a fuel gauge i didn't know that's what it was called gasometer works gasometer <laughs> it's a gasometer gasometer works you're wild said y'all really living like this i'm not i get gas I fill up every week just because. Yes. Oh, if it's half, I'm out. Uh-uh. I also don't like to spend the oh, full amount, amount that it costs to fill up your tank at one it's time. Gotta, and mm-hmm. if I do it on the half, then I feel like I'm doing good. Yes. Because it's not as expensive as it really is. Yes. Okay. At what age would you allow your kids to date someone? Oh, that's a fun one because you have girls and I have boys. Oh, yeah. Okay. Question from A. Brown. At what age would you allow your kids to date someone? I would let my kid, I would let Isaiah date now. I actually ask him all the time. But he's not interested. Actually, I think he is, but he just don't want to tell me all the time that he is. But whatever. He he had a little <laughs> girlfriend one year and then they broke up and then that was kind of the end of it. Mm-hmm. Um But Isaiah is also 16, so I think that's an appropriate age. With that said, I would entertain Joe dating Mm -hmm. now if he would tell me that, like, I have a girlfriend Mm. or I wanted to, like, I like this girl. I ask Joe almost daily, at least a couple times a week, like, who's cute at your school? And he'd be like, nobody. I don't like none of these girls. (laughs) And I'm like, there's 5,000 kids at your school. There's got to be someone at your school that's cute. And he just won't give me any of the things that I want. My niece, however, mm-hmm. is 16, and she just... Did you see her Instagram? I did. I called her. I called her yesterday to talk about it, but they were out shopping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they were. Uh, which I was like, I was like, I called you, your son, and your daughter, and nobody picked up. I hope she's still in here, because I was like, <laughs> are y'all dead? Like, what's happening? Why is what's no one happening? answering? Um, but my sister, the one between me and Mel, yes. she said that uh, her name is Mariah. Mariah be like, my boyfriend, my oh boyfriend, my, my boyfriend. And mom, my boyfriend said, and mom, my boyfriend, ah. and can I go with my boyfriend? And I just, if the boys did that, I would probably just melt and just be like, tell me more about her. I right, Tell me But you don't more. like Mariah doing it. No, I don't mind it, but I'm also her aunt. Oh, yeah. Okay. But the thing about it is I think it's cute for her, but I'm also very much like send me his Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know what he's about. Let me 100%. know what type of guys you like. Like, I need that type of information. Um, and that's how I am even with the, like, I would want to know that type of information. But yeah. I still think they're cute. It's just when they, but my got body, though, too. That'd yeah, be my only yaddy, thing. Yaddy, yaddy, I'd be yaddy. like, these little boys at 16 be acting a little different. Yeah. And, you know, I know folks that got pregnant when I was in the 11th grade. So that'd be my only hesitation. Yeah. But I don't want to be like, I don't want her to not feel like she could share as openly as right, she does. Right, right. So I try not to be overbearing, but I be, you know, cause we be quick. Soon as Nick says she had a little boyfriend, send her, send, yep. send the auntie What's chat, the, IG? the Instagram, we send the Instagram. We need to know who this is, who, what is, I don't care. You're in South Carolina. Send me his Instagram. <laughs> I said, we'll fly there. Correct. What about the girls? I have no idea. I feel like Greg's gonna say never. Oh, Greg's gonna absolutely. McKinley likes this little. All the girls like this little boy at, in their class. Who Tanner in her class. or whatever his name is? C- Carter. Carter. And he's in her class again in the first grade class, and he was in her class in the kindergarten class. And all the boys, I mean, all the girls like him. Uh, they the mom who volunteered said he a bad boy, and I was like, okay, I don't what. I, it's I, it's too much for me. Of course, um, McKinley would like bad boys. Mel liked. I did. I did. Oh, we can't be using real names. You right. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't. We're here now. Thanks, Kat. Yeah. (laughs) Amen. Tanner. His name is Tanner. But Kenny likes a little boy, and they said that he is a bad boy. Uh, I feel like when she is 16... Because McKinley has such a big personality. She does. And she, like, I feel like I, I'm going to have to go with an age, and I'm not going to be able to go with, like, 
maturity level because she's going to be mature early. Like, mm-hmm. she's going to be fun and bubbly yeah. and all of that. Yeah. So the girl's going to be trying to date at 10, and that ain't going to work. So we gonna, I'm going to have to go with the age. I feel like 16, that's the age that we were uh, able to date, and I feel like that's what I'm going to go with. But 16 is 11th grade. Oh, that is, that's old. That's old. I want her to also, the balance is I want her to, like, be comfortable being like, I like him. Yeah. And, like, what I like these things about him. Yes. But I just don't want them going out on a date. Oh, I see. Until 16. A date alone? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I'll okay. take them to, out to eat and I'll yeah, be yeah, there. Yeah. But you're not about to... Like, go to the movies by Solo yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. until really? you're 16. Yeah. Well, she wouldn't have a license till then anyway, so it works out. Unless you're trying to date older guys. Well, but now, Uber. if you're trying to date older guys. No. We're nah, not I'm doing that. No, I'm out. Mm-mm. I'm out. I'm out. Even for my boys, if they were trying to date an older girl, I'm out. Yeah. That's, I agree with I don't, that. Them age gaps this young, I don't be here Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't be, I agree I don't, with that. I don't be liking that late. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us on another edition of the Gin and Juice podcast. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We had a good time. Also known as pure chaos. It's pure. <laughs> I told Kev that too. I said it's nothing. I was like, I feel like I need to add more structure to it, but it's chaos. It's, yeah, it's chaos. <laughs> lean into the chaos. Yeah, lean into <laughs> it. Y'all let us know if y'all like it or not. I don't know. Oh, they said it was good. Thank you. I'm happy that y'all enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Oh, follow me on the gram, too. Oh, yes. You've got mail. Y-O-U-V-E-G-T-M-E-L. And, of course, Miss Kev on stage. They said they love the cutoff. Okay. Lean in. All right. All right, y'all. Bye. Bye.